Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Firefighters from the 386th Expeditionary Civil Engineer Squadron in Southwest Asia trained more than 60 soldiers in handling hazardous materials. The airmen and soldiers saved the Department of Defense thousands of dollars through using an online and hands-on course rather than taking the Defense Department hazmat operations level class through a civilian institution. For the full story, visit AFLINK. Talisman Sabre is a combined joint service exercise in Australia. Airman First Class Ashley Powell tells us how the Australians are working with airmen, soldiers, sailors and marines to make the exercise a success. Meet the Bell 206B Kiowa helicopter, a light utility aircraft with a variety of uses and similar in design to the OH-58 used by the U.S. during the Vietnam War. These choppers continue to support operations for the Australian Army most recently for bilateral training exercise Talisman Sabre 2013. We're supporting the uh, OP4, opposing force. So some of the things is uh, a couple of uh, passengers that need to be transported into the area or to a remote location. It's very easy and efficient to do it using a utility helicopter like this. Flying is not strictly about hard work for Lieutenant Thompson. Favorite part about flying is uh, the fact that we get to work with uh, good people, both Australian and in a joint environment. There's been a couple of opportunities to have a chat with some of the American air crew. And as it turns out, from, uh, from what I've heard them say, uh, we have quite similar operating procedures. It all works out quite well, being NATO organizations. Airman First Class Ashley Powell, Rockhampton, Australia. To see more Air Force Broadcasting Service products, follow us on Twitter at Air Force TV. For more Air Force news, visit our official website, AFLINK. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service at Fort Meade, Maryland, I'm Senior Airman Renee Carberry. Thanks for watching.